Savannah, Hilton Head, Southeast Georgia, and the Low Country. This is WJCL 22 News. After yet another provocative missile launch, the White House released a statement saying all options are on the table for dealing with North Korea. Sally Kidd is live in Washington with the latest. Dale, the White House says President Trump has spoken with Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe over the phone and the two vowed to increase pressure on the North. A defiant North Korea fired a mid-range ballistic missile over Japan into the Pacific Ocean late Monday. President Trump had previously warned the U.S. was locked and loaded and would respond to threats with fire and fury. But when asked today what he would do... The U.N. Security Council called an emergency meeting. It's unacceptable. They have violated every single U.N. Security Council resolution that we've had. And so I think something serious has to happen. Earlier this month, the Security Council approved its toughest sanctions yet against the North. And experts say the question now is one of enforcement. Is China in particular going to enforce those sanctions on North Korea? China controls nearly 90 percent of North Korea's economy. If it really wanted to, it could bring the Kim Jong-un regime to its knees very, very quickly. While Pyongyang backed away from plans to fire a missile toward Guam earlier this month, it tested three short-range missiles on Friday. Therefore, there is this outstanding question, is the United States prepared to bring an economic hammer down on China? But analysts say imposing harsh sanctions on China could rock the global economy. So for now, the focus is on using economic and diplomatic tactics to put pressure on North Korea. In Washington, Sally Kett, WJCL 22 News.